So today we're going to be looking at collections. We're going to have an array of names of Joe, Jax and Meg. This is our array. And what we're going to look at today is how we can see if a particular entity exists within our array. So let's say we've got a variable of names. We've got Joe, Jax and Meg. How do we actually see if Joe exists within our uh, collection? We use a function called contains and we pass in a parameter of Joe. And that's expected to return a true because Joe does exist within that collection. So let's have a look at this on Power Automate. So what we're doing is we're creating a, um, an array called names and we're just appending names to that, which is Jax. Then we've got Joe and we've also got Meg. And then what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to use the contains function to see if Joe does actually exist within that array. So we're going to actually pass in our um, variable of names, our collection, and then we're going to pass in the parameter of Joe. And let's actually kick this off now and see this run. Okay, so the flow's run. Let's just see the results now. So as you can see, um, the array has been created correctly and all of the names have been added what we're expecting back now is a true so there you go we have true we know that Joe does exist and then you can cycle through an immense amount of data to see if something um, actually exists within a an array with under three minutes you've learned how to uh, cycle through data in arrays and collections that's it from me flojo check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the power platform and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video thanks for watching